racing pipes to the brim. Time to do a track walk. Hey, what's up? Oh boy, have I been waiting for the season to start. It's been a very, very long winter. A lot of tinkering in the garage, a lot of upgrades to the MX-5, and I'm super excited to be entering the Bristol MX-5 challenge for this year. The championship will take us over three different disciplines, sprints, hill climbs, and auto solos. Sprints and hill climbs are something that I've never done before, but I'm very, very excited. And there's been a lot of things added to the car, nothing engine related, as the championship requires a standard stock engine with no retune, no nothing of that sort, but you're allowed to change suspension, seats, seat belts, for harnesses, steering wheel, Back box is the new thing for the Mark III this year, and wheels. I'm hoping to film all the events, and the event that you're currently watching now is the Catch the Pigeon Sprint, the first event of the season. So for this event, it's a sprint, and how they work is there's one practice lap, and then three timed laps. The fastest lap is the winner. Luckily, early in the week before the event, there was a test day that I used as a shakedown for the new parts on the car to make sure it's all working, but also to learn the track. So for my practice run this time round, I knew the track and I just wanted to go out there, find where the limit is and just start picking up the speed. That was a good test run. Very good. I was on the limit straight away, which the test day earlier this week was... Uh, was what that's for, so yeah, a bit tidier, and I think we done good. First official run. Very happy with my practice time, um, which was an 8.44, which is very competitive, so I'm very happy with that. But I just got to actually put one on the board so I won't push it too much on this one. Just try and, I think, set a, set a banker, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, when you get the helmet, when you put the helmet on, uh, all can change. So, uh, yeah, let's have fun. <laughs> Here we go, the first time run of the season. I was pretty happy with that star and that change into second. I normally crunch into second. Well, it's, it's very easy for me to crunch into second. I think there's something wrong with my synchro. So the fact that I had a clean shift into second, I was very happy with that. the cone, managed to get as close as I comfortably would like to. Something I noticed on the practice run is this corner coming up here that I'm prone to a bit of oversteer. So I knew the car was going to stick out there. I managed to catch that early and managed to keep the speed going.
nice nip in the curbs, very happy with that. And again, being very patient for the late apex. Get the car straight and then kiss this little apex before you get across the timing beam. Good, maybe a bit sloppy in a couple areas, but yeah, no, it's good, good first time. Right, I had lunch, now it's ready for run two. Run one was really good, I somehow improved on my practice time, so I'm on the 83s, which, yeah, it's a lot quicker than I thought I was going to be doing, so, uh, just maybe match it, but yeah, I think the person behind me is half a second, so make sure that I keep that half a second ahead. Uh, who knows? I might not have said it there, but that run beat the last year's record for the championship, and I was first by half a second, so I was pretty stoked that I was competitive. <laughs> I love about an MX-5. It's a kind of a hot day. I can chill, sit here with the roof up, with aircon on, before I'm about to rag it around a track. I'm so comfortable right now, it's incredible. <laughs> These cars are too much fun, and too nice, and the cost of them isn't crazy. Highly recommend it. If you're, if you're learning to race, what, having an MX-5 is perfect for handling control. The 50-50 weight distribution, just everything is a bit slower and you can learn it, you can push it, and it gives you so much confidence. I think that's it, it gives you so much confidence. Yeah, just get an MX-5 basically. <laughs> Those are holy words there, get an MX-5. Again, got a pretty good start again and a good gear shift into second. And as you probably noticed, it's a track where I can stick it in second for the whole way around the lap. I'm lucky the six speed box suits this track quite well with just keeping it in second. sure that last corner is uh, good because you get to claim all that speed up the straight there into the chicane. A little dab of the brake to get the nose in. Maybe a bit too much oversteer there. Might have lost a bit of time. Managed to clip the apex which is nice. Pretty hyped there. And managed to go a bit wide there. Lost a good amount of time there, I think. It was a good lap up until then. And I think I explained in a second why I nearly binned it. Quite the last corner up, but that was good. Yeah, I looked in the mirror to see if I hit the cone and uh, I missed the corner. <laughs> I forgot to turn in, so. Uh... Yeah, close one, but if, there's a, if that's quicker, let's find out. But I feel like there's still a bit more time in there, which is great. So yeah. for my final run. Let's see if I can get close to my 33. We'll see. I, I can't, I didn't know what I got on my second run because the ticket machine didn't print it out. <laughs> so just clean, just give it a go. See where we end up. Awesome. Thanks for marshalling today. No worries. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for marshalling today. No All right, final lap. Bit more of a spirited start. Again, another clean shift into second. This never normally happens out on the road. <laughs> Crunching it all the time. I'm surprised the gearbox is still alive. Yes. Oh, and it seems 
seems like the cone was a bit further in than last time. So I had to back out of that turn a bit. Crazy. Yes, that felt good. I'm happy with that. That felt good. Good car. Well fucking done. What a good day. Ooh. So there we go. That was the first sprint event. The results you can see on the screen, I somehow managed to win my class. It was a bit surreal actually, because this car hasn't actually won an event ever. I've come close on auto solos with a second here and there, but this car has never actually won any silverware. So it was a bit surreal after, you know, spending a lot of time over winter, thinking about what mods to add to the car, what will make it better drive, what can make the handling feel a bit better, nothing nothing about performance, i.e. engine or anything like that, it was a bit more about the handling, which these cars are exactly, that's exactly what these cars are for, is the handling. Seem to become a competitive car. So I think we've got a very exciting season ahead of us. Uh, next event is a uh, auto solo, so something that I've done before, and it's at Kemble, and I've been there a couple times, so next month, I can't wait. And thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and see you on the next one.